Okay, so welcome to this new chapter on lines and angles. And this is what we are going to study everything about lines and angles here to get started with. Now let us quickly have a look at the topics that I will be covering in this chapter. So first I will give you a quick introduction and a review of the topics that we covered in the earlier grade and that would be mainly pertaining to the basic geometrical concepts of ray, line and a line segment and what is an angle and just some basics of the types of angles that you would already be knowing by now. Then we start our discussion on an important class of angles known as related angles in geometry. And you will find that the study of the related angles is very useful in further classes as well. So we will learn about complementary angles. What are complementary angles? Supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair and vertically opposite angles. We'll study what these angles are, their properties and we'll also solve some examples based on what we have discussed. Then we move on to discussion of lines, mainly related to the pairs of lines taken together. First we understand what do we mean by intersecting lines. When lines intersect each other, what do we mean by that? Then we understand the meaning of a transversal and there are several important things that we will learn based on this transversal, right? Then a very important concept is to understand the angles made by the transversal. So first I will give you the terminology of various angles that are made by transversal, what are their names? And then we will go on to study in detail the transversal of parallel lines. That is when a transversal cuts two parallel lines and then we see the various properties of the angles that are formed by that. And based on our discussion on the pair of lines, we then figure out if there is a way, mathematically, we can check whether two lines are parallel or not. So, I mean, one way of telling that two lines are parallel is to just do a visual inspection through the definition. But based on our properties that we study earlier, that is the transversal of parallel lines, can we really come out with a mathematical way of saying whether two lines are parallel or not? And of course, we'll be solving some examples for all of these concepts. So this is what I intend to cover in this chapter. See you in the next video.